What's it like when you get back here and talk to kids who are real little up to, I don't know, some teenagers? Well, you hope they're listening a little bit. Uh, the little ones tend to be the better listeners. The older ones tend to know what they are. Uh, you know, I remember being that age at a camp, and sometimes it's hard to listen when you don't know who it is that's talking to you. It's not Michael Jordan walking in the building. I'm dating myself nowadays. It'd be Steph Curry walking in the building. But, uh, you know, you just hope they're listening and absorb a little bit of what you've got to say and definitely what the coaches have to say because um, they're, they're trying to help kids get better. When you were a little kid, was there a camp that you went to, you heard somebody that maybe you still remember or that made an impact back then? <laughs> well, I, I went to a camp and he wasn't there, but his quote, it was Kevin McHale's quote, and it was, when you're at this camp, be the first one to volunteer. Always be the first one to volunteer and make mistakes because it'll be embarrass you and you'll remember what you did wrong and hopefully you won't make that same mistake again. And I took that to heart and I was always volunteering first. When I went to camps, I always went, hey, I'll go. And I didn't care about messing up in front of kids and I told them that. I said, I, you know, I didn't mind getting embarrassed because it helped me remember uh, the mistakes I made. But the, the person I remember most in high school meeting uh, came into our gym one time we were working out, um, Wilt Chamberlain. I don't know how, I don't know why, but Wilt Chamberlain walked into our locker room or our, our court in high school in Torrey Pines in San Diego. <laughs> we were just like, what? Why is Will Chamberlain here? <laughs> and we all got to shake his hand, and it was it was an honor to meet the man. Talk about volunteering, both when you played here for the Pacers, and now that you're still part of the family, living here, uh, the Pacers have for a long time always given back in the community. You're always one of the first guys that's always there when something go is going on. How important is it to give back as an organization, as a player, and in your case, as an ex-player? Well, it, that that term "give back" is is almost become trite, and I don't want to uh, overuse it, but. Uh, I feel like when you're an NBA player or any kind of professional athlete, you kind of owe it to the fans. They pay a lot of money for season tickets and concessions, and it's not a it's not a cheap night out to come watch a professional basketball game. And so now that I'm done and I, I'm, I'm enjoying that I don't have to really have a job, it's because of the fans and it's because of their kids. And so uh, when I get asked or, or when I hear about things that I can do to come and, and be a part of a, a golf tournament or a charity event that's going to help uh, some young kids or it's going to help some kids maybe do something better with their lives than maybe their siblings did uh, Help them get out of a tough spot or help them improve their lives. I'm all for that I, I think we need that more than ever nowadays, especially with what's going on right now in our current climate We need more people helping out and doing positive things and I hope to be one of those people You made a major positive impact on today's deal. Thanks for being here my friend. Thanks a lot, Eddie. Thanks